I started shooting at an early age. Uh, my father was really into marksmanship. Um, my fa uh, he was influenced by my uncle, who was a police officer, and the, he did a lot of police competitions. Um, he got my father interested in it. Um, and uh, so as, as I grew up, my brothers and sisters all competed at our local gun club in Lewistown, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, the, called the Lewistown Pistol Club. And uh, we all went up there as a family and we learned how to shoot. And uh, you know, me being the youngest of the, of the five siblings, um, I stayed at home the, the longest and of course competed with my dad at the, at the local gun club um, for many years and I got really good at it. Uh, my father is a machinist and, uh, and kind of an amateur gunsmith, so he built all my guns and equipment. And um, so as I learned, uh, you know, I got better and got older and stronger and um, I got pretty good at it. So my dad supported me and I continued to shoot. Uh, and that's, you know, I just kind of progressed from there. Joining the Army was, uh, I guess it was kind of inevitable. You know, there's not too many career choices out there where you get to shoot for a living. Um, I was competing as a junior at the national championships, and I attended a school, which was the small arms firing school. And at that time, I didn't realize uh, until after the fact, actually until I came to the marksmanship unit, is that the instructors um, were army marksmanship unit instructors. Because as a young kid, all you see is a you know military soldier, and uh, especially in in that time, every, all the services wore basically the same uniform. Um, so I attended the small arms firing school, seeing that. Um, and I talked to the pistol coach at that time, and uh, he had asked me what I was doing after high school. And I said, uh, and I told him, you know, what I was interested in, and he's like, how about the Army? And, uh, and he gave me the lowdown and said, hey, you can come join the Army and come shoot for us. And that's what I did. Once I got to the marksmanship unit, um, obviously my goals are to, to win championships. Um, and I had personal goals as well as far as uh, scores, you know, things that I wanted to attain. Um, you know, winning the national championships is, was, is, of course, the highest thing that you can win on this team. Um, so that was number one on the list as dream goals. Um, I also wanted to win um, the President's 100 and national trophy matches. Um, and since, since I've been here, I've, I've placed multiple times on the podium for the national championships. Um, never took that, that national champion spot number one, but I have <laughs> placed uh, second three times. Uh, multiple times uh, on the podium. Uh, I have won the President's 100 in 2019, and I've also won the National Trophy match. Um, so I've done quite a bit. While shooting for the marksmanship unit, um, it is very challenging because you always have to stay uh, on the top of your game. Um, you know, we have very talented shooters in the marksmanship unit. So not only am I competing against the best in the world, I'm competing against the best in the role that are shooting right next to me on my own team. Um, now, in some cases, that's that's a comfort because I know that if if I falter, uh, one of my teammates is going to pick up the slack and, and win for the Army. Um, but it is very challenging to stay on top all the time. Um, that's that's very very challenging. And what I tell people a lot of times is is the Army has a lot of different jobs. If I'm gonna join the military, look for a job choice that you can do on and off the military. Um, that way, when you come into the military, you're, you're working on a career that will help benefit you when you, you know, while you're in the military, but it also will benefit you on the way when you're no longer in the military. I'm proud to be a, you know, a soldier uh, representing uh, the United States Army uh, in our country. Um, you know, we, we do, um, a lot of marksmanship instructions for a lot of folks that are deploying. Um, you know, so it's, it's a privilege to be able to train folks uh, and soldiers uh, that are then in turn using that to, for their own self-defense of themselves and their teams. Um, so I very take a lot of pride in that. I have traveled uh, outside to Afghanistan um, and we were supporting uh, the Afghan drill sergeants. So it was our job to train the Afghan drill sergeants um, so they can train themselves, um, so that uh, you know we're not going to be uh, overseas uh, indefinitely. So we wanted to help support the drill sergeants um, that were there, so they can train the Afghan military in our absence. I've been a competitive shooter before the army. Um, I'm a competitor while I'm in the army. Um, 
I kind of live, eat, and breathe it. You know, in order, and so when I'm not uh, shooting for the Army, I don't have a whole lot of hobbies other than the fact that um, I do, I'm starting to take up golf, but uh, I'm not particularly good at it. Um, um, so for, for the most part, I do like to do biking um, and just going for, you know, jogs in the uh, trail rides and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, shooting is my passion. Um, I spend a lot of time while I'm at work uh, shooting for the Army, and everything else is just seems like it's, it's preparing for that when I come back. Sokolowski just claimed his first Bianchi Cup, making himself, I believe, the only shooter in the history of this match to win all three divisions. That is the triple crown of the Bianchi Cup. It's an unprecedented, unrivaled accomplishment for the Sergeant First Class.